We now have a new improved Smarter Arrow tool for editing MIDI notes in the MIDI editor. So when we're in this window and we have the Arrow tool selected, now in addition to selecting, moving, and resizing note events, we can also edit note velocity, mute or unmute note events, split note events, split note events and their part container here, and glue adjacent events. So let's look at how this works. Now to start with velocity, we can click in the upper area of a note and drag to change the velocities. And this can work on multiple notes. Now, if you don't want to click in the upper part, and this only works at certain zoom levels, so you need to be zoomed in for these new functions. But if you're in the lower part, you can hold down Alt and Command, and that way you can adjust the velocity anywhere you are in the note, and you don't have to worry about clicking specifically at the top. Now we can do a single click with the Alt key at the top to mute or unmute different notes. We get this mute icon. And then we can click again to unmute them. And call adjust the velocity here with Alt and Command. And then Alt click to unmute. Now we can also click in the lower part of a note to split it. So for example, we can split in multiple places and then of course, once it's split, I can transpose the notes. And then if we want to split notes and their container, we can alt click in the lower part. So for example, I'll go to, let's say this longer note here, we're at bar 12, if I hold down Alt and click, you'll see it split the note, but it's also split the container up here and just hit undo. And then if we want to glue them back together, if we have notes of an adjacent pitch, we just position in the lower part and we'll get the glue tool. There it is. And now it's glued back together. And just a reminder of some of the common functions, we can Command click to delete a note. This is old behavior, just a little bit of a refresh. We can command click for the paint tool to draw in notes. And of course we can drag them around to transpose them. And we can hold option and shift to zoom like that. And then option and shift to step back. And then of course we can adjust the length of notes by dragging the end of it. And we can always turn on the question mark icon over here. And that way with the arrow tool, we can look in the info bar here and see the functions based on where we're hovering the mouse. So up there, we see we have the edit velocity zone down here, split events. And if I hold down option, you'll see split deep is enabled. And if I go up here and hold down option or alt, you'll see mute tool is enabled. So those are the new smarter arrow tool functions. See if more in the next video.